ओके गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स नाउ विल सी द सेकंड टॉपिक दैट इज न्यूटन रैप्स ऑन मेथड इन न्यूटन रैप्स ऑन मेथड हाउ टू सॉल्व अलजिब्राइक एंड ट्रांसेंडेंटल इक्वेशंस ओके न्यूटन रैप्स ऑन मेथड वी विल कॉल इट एज न्यूटन्स इटरेटिव मेथड आल्सो let f of x equal to 0 be the given equation and let x not be an initial approximate root of the equation f of x equal to 0 then by newton raphson method next approximate root of the equation is given by given in the following formula x1 is equal to x0 minus f of x0 divided by f dash of x0 x2 is equal to x1 minus f of x1 divided by f dash of x1 x3 is equal to x2 minus f of x2 divided by f dash of x2 means current root will depends on the previous approximate root that's why it is called newton's iterative formula x4 equal to x3 minus f of x3 divided by f dash of x3 so in general the newton's iterative formula is given as given below xn plus 1 is equal to xn minus f of xn divided by f dash of xn <coughs> find a real root of the equation x cube minus 2x minus 5 equal to 0 correct it to three decimal places by using newton's raphson method why you are going to study this newton raphson method means it will convert you faster than the regular policy method that's why i took the same problem what you did in regular policy method there you got the root for this equation in ninth stage eighth stage here you will get faster than that one <coughs> same guessing root same procedure but here you will required only one both are not required okay f of x equal to 0 list f of x and by trial and error method guess where it is positive and where it is negative successively you know already at a 2 it is negative at 3 it is positive but the means root lies in between 2 and 3 but nearer to which one either 2 or 3 at 3 it is 16 at 2 it is minus 1 so near to 0 is minus 1 so root lies near to 2 only and the root is nearer to 2 so we'll take it as x not let x not is equal to 2 then by newton raphson method once you get the initial approximate root you can proceed with the newton raphson method <coughs> then by newton raphson method next approximate root of the equation is given by the formula xn plus 1 is equal to xn minus f of xn divided by f dash of xn now we'll proceed the remaining in tabular form for this list what is x not or x not already there f of x and f dash of x and the formula for x n plus 1 from f of x f dash of x it is very easy polynomial only so 3x square minus 2 now we'll take the table first one is x n column f of x n column f dash of x n why because means three three components are required for the formula and then x n plus 1 first we will start with x not x not is equal to 2 and f of x not is minus 1 substitute here and f dash of x not is 10 by substituting here and substitute these three values in this formula you will get x1 is equal to x not minus f of x not divided by f dash of x not which is 2.1 take this 2.1 as x1 here and f of x1 f dash of x1 and x2 2.0946 and take this as x2 here and f of x2 find out f of x2 and f dash of x2 go for x3 see x2 and x3 both are same so we can stop the iteration process here hence an approximate root of the given equation is x is equal to 2.0946 okay next problem estimate a real root of the equation x e power x minus 2 equal to 0 correct it to four decimal places by using newton's iterative method same list out f of x and then guess two values by trial and error method at 0 minus 2 at 1 0 point positive so root lies in between 0 and 1 but nearer to which one either 0 or 1 at 0 minus 2 at 1 it is 0 point so root is nearer to 1 so take it as x not as 1 then by newton raphson method list out the formula and proceed in the table form the remaining procedure <coughs> list out f of x and f dash of x x n plus 1 formula take the table first x n column f of x n column f dash of x n column and x n plus 1 column 
what you took x naught as one and f of x naught f dash of x naught x2 sorry x1 by using this and take this x1 here find out f of x1 f dash of x1 and by using these three values calculate x2 by using the formula list out x2 here and find out f of x2 f dash of x2 and by using these three calculate x3 value then take x3 here f of x3 find out f of f dash of x3 and x4 using this formula see all these two values are equal hence we can stop the iteration process and we can list out an approximate root of the equation as x equal to 0 0.8526 <clears throat> next predict a root of the equation x into tan x plus 1 equal to 0 which is nearer to x equal to pi by using the newton raphson method here in the question itself it is mentioned where you have to find out so no need to go for trial and error and guessing directly you can take x naught as pi and you take f of x as x into tan x plus 1 equal to 0 same we can write it as x into sin x plus cos x equal to 0 why i am writing like this means x into tan x differentiation becomes secant square x you will get a little bit confusion how to operate secant square in the calculator no you can calculate secant square can be written as 1 by cos square if you don't want that much confusion means convert sin tan to sin and cos or cot also given means cos and sin so f of x is either x into tan x plus 1 or f, f of x is x into sin x plus cos x see you have to use same pair if you are going to use f of x as x into tan x plus 1 same f dash of x you have to use if you are going to use f of x as x into sin x plus cos x corresponding f dash of x only have to use x naught is equal to pi then by newton raphson method formula f of x corresponding f dash of x both i am showing here whichever you are convenient you can use i think f dash of x equal to x into cos x is only convenient so use f of x as x into sin x plus cos x the process of finding the root is shown in the following table f of x x into sin x plus cos x and f dash of x x into cos x and x n plus 1 formula don't forget that the function has trigonometric values when you are operating with the numbers keep your calculator in radians mode x n column f of x n column f dash of x n column x n plus 1 column x naught as pi or you can take 3.1416 or in your calculator pi is available directly you can take pi only and f of x naught f dash of x naught and x1 take this x1 here f, f of x1 f dash of x1 by using these three calculate x2 value then list out x2 here and find out f of x2 f dash of x2 calculate x3 by using these three values then list out x3 here f of x3 f dash of x3 and x4 if you observe x3 and x4 2.7984 2.7984 hence an approximate root of the given equation is x is equal to 2.7984 next we will see one more problem <clears throat> apply newton's iterative method to find a root of the equation x into log x base 10 is equal to 1.2 correct to four decimal places list out f of x as x into log x base 10 minus 1.2 and guess the root which is nearer approximate root with this we can say that root lies in between 2 and 3 but nearer to 3 so take x naught as 3 the formula for newton raphson method xn plus 1 is equal to xn minus f of xn divided by f dash of xn here if you want to calculate f dash of x here not log x base e you know the differentiation of derivative of log x base e as 1 by x log x base 10 we don't have direct differentiation so by using logarithmic properties create one more log with the base e f of x is equal to this one and f dash of x is equal to d by dx of x into log x base 10 minus 1.2 so use the uv rule of differentiation x differentiation is 1 log x base 10 plus x into d by dx of log x base 10 log x base 10 can be written as log x base e into log e base 10 log e base 10 is constant and this value 0 0.4349 you can use it 
4343, 43429. So we can use d by dx of log x base is 1 by x. Hence, f dash of x is equal to xx will get cancelled 0 0.4343 plus log x base 10. That you can list out in a tabular form f of x, f dash of x, and formula for x n plus 1. Then x n column, f of x n column, f dash of x n column, x n plus 1 column x naught is 3, f of x naught, f dash of x naught, x1. List out x1 here, find out f of x1 and f dash of x1, and then calculate x2 by using the formula. Then take x2 here, f of x2, f dash of x2, and x3. Both are same. Hence, you can list out approximate root as x is equal to 2.7406. Like this, you can proceed the remaining problems in this method. Okay, thank you. We will see the next topic in next lecture video.